Hello, my name is Kazakiel Ben Yisrael, and welcome to Voices of Our Fathers. Tonight's topic is works of the law. And to my left, left is Elder Shadaniah Ben Yisrael. Shalom. Shalom. And to my right, Elder Aharon Ben Israel. Shalom. 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 And again, tonight's topic is works of the law. And we're trying to go into the scriptures and help uh, the viewing audience understand, come to an understanding of Yah's word comprehensively, not uh, so much another man's interpretation mm -hmm. of this word, mm -hmm. but the word in which it was, the word is written and the, the meaning that the Father intended for us to get through the written word, not another one's interpretation. So uh, we're going to let Elder Haron start off. Again, um, there has been, how can I say this, uh, a false idea that's been going around here. Uh, okay, Elder based upon the leadership of our worship system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to clear this up tonight mm -hmm. okay. because uh, I'm tired of these people walking around here thinking that they should be taking folks' tithes okay. and that people are obligated to them. Mm -hmm. But First of all, I'm going to read something mm -hmm. because this has a bearing on what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in Romans, the third chapter, verse 28, again. It says, mm -hmm. therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The deeds of the law is what we're going to get into because that is a big misunderstanding because people equate the deeds of the law, mm -hmm. the things that must have been done mm -hmm. within the law for certain things with throwing out the whole law itself. Mm -hmm. They do this. Mm, absolutely. But even more is the one that was supposed to perform these deeds. Uh huh. Now, we know that the Father chose the children of Israel mm -hmm. okay. to carry his word, okay. to be priests to the rest of the sons and daughters of Adam. Mm -hmm. But within the children of Israel, there was an order or a group of people called Levites, or mm -hmm. as we know as the Levitical priesthood, Priest. mm -hmm. who were to perform the duties to Yah mm -hmm. for the children of Israel mm -hmm. only. That's right. Now, today we have ministers, reverends, or whatever they want to call themselves, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that have set themselves up mm -hmm. as the Levitical priesthood. Right. Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. let's read something here. Turn to Exodus, the 27th chapter, and start at verse 20. 27. Yeah, 27 and verse 20. Now, I want you to all to go back and read this for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because it's important that you read the chapters before this. Because here we begin where the Father begins to ordain the Levitical priesthood. Mm -hmm. Ah. out of the children of Israel. Okay. It says, And you shall charge the sons of Israel 
that they bring you clear oil of beaten olives mm -hmm. for the light to make lamps burn continually. Mm -hmm. In the tent of the meeting, outside the veil, which is before the <coughs> testimony, listen to this. It says, Aharon and his sons shall keep it in order from evening to morning before Yahweh. It shall be a perpetual statue throughout their generations for the sons of Yisrael. Mm -hmm. Stop. What did he just say? He just commanded the sons of Aharon to be what? Keepers. Mm -hmm. Keepers. Mm -hmm. To perform the services of the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. Because when you go back and read, you'll see all the things that were put together for the tabernacle mm -hmm. to be erected. Okay. So that they could start to perform these duties. Mm -hmm. Let's continue to read verse, uh, ver, uh, chapter 28, verse 1. It says, Then bring near to yourselves mm -hmm. Aharon, your brother, and his sons with him. Mm -hmm. For among the sons of Israel to minister as priests to me. Stop. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what he said? He said, the sons of Aharon. Mm -hmm. And unless you can prove that you're the son of Aharon, that's right. Mm -hmm. Unless you can do that, that's the only way you can minister and take tithes for the Father. That's right. Mm -hmm. Let's continue to read. Mm -hmm. He said, Aharon, Nadab, and Abihu, mm -hmm. Eleazar, mm -hmm. Ithamar, Aharon's son. And you shall make holy garments for Aharon, your brother, mm -hmm. for glory and for beauty. And you shall speak to all the skillful persons whom I have endowed with the spirit of wisdom, mm -hmm. huh? that they may make Aharon's garments to consecrate him, that he may minister as priest to me. Here we go again. Yep. Notice who he's saying. Because if you understand what he told Moshe, back further. Aharon shall be what? Shall be your priest. He shall be the one. Mm -hmm. You shall be like God. He shall be the one to speak for you. Absolutely. He's the mouthpiece. Absolutely. He's the one to minister. Absolutely. He's the one to execute. See, you don't understand. Aharon and his sons... His lamb was the only one that could go behind the veil. Absolutely, yo. That's right. If you don't understand anything else, you must understand that the Levitical priesthood was to minister to the Father from the sons of Israel, who was to minister to the rest of the sons and daughters of Adam. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. And the elder told me to tell me that every time. I read in this book, every time I read in this book, when it says, and Moses said, and Moses said to Pharaoh, that was Aharon. That was Aharon. Speaking. That was it. Mm -hmm. That was Aharon speaking. Absolutely. If you notice, he was with him every time mm -hmm. because that's who Yah sent. That was his job. Because Moses had what? A stammering. Absolutely. This is, this is what this is about. But even more so than that, mm -hmm. the deeds that we read about mm -hmm. when it said the deeds of the law, mm -hmm. that means that there was something that had to be performed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody couldn't perform this. Mm -hmm. The father made sure of that. Mm -hmm. This is why he told him, the Aharon and his sons. Mm -hmm. So that means that everybody in the line of Aharon had the opportunity to be what? To become what? High priest. That's right. A priest in order to do Nadab and Abihu, as we're going to read later. Mm -hmm. They put the wrong fire on the, What did y'all do? He killed them. Mm -hmm. Out of order. So that meant that everybody couldn't perform the service to Yah. 
Do you ministers really understand what y'all doing? That's right. Or what y'all saying? Do you really understand this? I don't think so. Because I don't believe that you really read this. Let's continue to read. Verse 5. It says, and they shall take the gold, the blue, the purple, and the scarlet material, and the fine linen. They shall also make the ephod of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet material, and fine twisted linen, the works of the skillful workman. It shall have two shoulder pieces joined to, to two ends, that it may be joined. Mm -hmm. And the skillful woven band which is on it shall be like its workmanship of the same material of gold, of blue, of purple, scarlet material, and fine twisted linen. Now what we're reading about here mm -hmm. is the dress for our Haron, for the high priest. Mm -hmm. Why? Because the high priest had to be dressed up, glorified, mm -hmm. because there are things that he had to do That's right. to operate in front of the Father That's right. for the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Understand this. Now all this is before Yahshua. Huh? Absolutely. You got to understand this. Yeah. Why? Because there's a different priesthood in action now. Mm -hmm. And when you keep trying to go back to the Levitical priesthood, what are you trying to do? You negate That's right. your salvation. That's right. Mm -hmm. But first of all, you got to understand what that priesthood was in the beginning. Absolutely. So that you'll know Absolutely. what's in order what you can do and what you cannot do. Absolutely. That's right. And that's what these people don't understand. A tithe was part of this order. That's and right. And there was a reason for the tithe. That's right. Mm -hmm. But let's continue to read some things because I want them to understand this. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. See, because I'm tired. And see, I don't want to be calling them out, but uh, <laughs> I, I will. We'll just call the acts out. Yep. Let's go to 15. Mm -hmm. Then it says, and you shall make a breastplate of judgment, the work of the skillful workman, like the work of the ephod. You shall make it of gold, of blue, and of purple, scarlet material, and fine twisted linen. You shall make it. It shall be square and folded double, a span the length of a, a span and a width. And you shall mount on it four rows of stone. The first row shall be a row of rubies, topaz, and emeralds. Now, these stones were the representation right. mm -hmm. of the 12 tribes wow. of mm -hmm. Israel. Mm -hmm. This is what he wore on the front of his, his vestment. This is what he wore. Notice what it was made out of. All these precious stones it talks about the it was made of. The ephod, the ephod was made out of, okay. or the breastplate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let's skip down. It says, let's go to 25. And you shall put the two ends of the two cords on the two fig, uh, fig figurines, settings, and put them on the shoulder piece of the ephod mm -hmm. at the front of it. Now, that means that he had to wear it on the front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? You, you might not have seen any pictures of it, mm -hmm. but the high priest, that was a special, that was a special thing. I've often said mm -hmm. when we've talked in times past, yeah. yes. here's the guy who was in charge. And y'all didn't kill him, but now we see. Now we can begin to see why. Mm -hmm. Because he was the spokesman, yeah. huh? And now, and y'all had already chose him in his line, mm -hmm. but he destroyed his sons first. Yes, he now, did for mm -hmm. being out of order. Mm -hmm. That could have been his way of destroying him. Yeah, and, and the way he did because he told them not to grieve for them. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's a horrible thing. You can't grieve for your own child. And the one thing, too, brother, is that oftentimes Yah will punish us, but he will not punish us directly. Yeah. But he will punish us in another way. To That's punish right. Us. That's right. 
Go to verse 29. Mm, 29. Yeah, 28, 29. It says, And Aaron shall carry the names of the sons of Israel in the breastplate of judgment over his heart when he enters the holy place for a, mo a memorial before Yahweh continually. Now, he is the only one that can do this. Right. Okay. The only one. He was the only one because he was the high priest. Yeah. Yeah. High priest. Mm -hmm. Is that what y'all doing? Y'all got the y'all got the breastplate, the ephod, and the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. Oh, but I forgot. You're a Christian. Mm -hmm. Then why you keep trying to be the Levitical priesthood? That's right. Huh? Why do you keep doing this? <laughs> let's go to let's go to verse thirty one. Mm -hmm. And you shall make the robe of the ephod all of blue. Mm -hmm. And there shall be an opening at the top, in the middle of it. Around its opening, there shall be binding of woolen works, as it were the opening of a coat of maul, that it may not be torn. And you shall make on its hem pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet material all around its hem, and bells of gold between them all around. Y'all know what them bells was for, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. A golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate, all around on the hem of the robe. And it shall be on Aharon when he ministers, and tinkling may be heard when he enters and leaves the holy place before Yahweh, that he may not die. Mm -hmm. Do you understand this here? What's the hell? Hey, he not die. That where he, hey, because he could not come into the most holy place at any time. That's right. That's right. But y'all don't understand that. Mm -hmm. and nor could he come in there not, not being innocent. That's right. He had that, to be free of sin. sin. That's right. Sure did. Right. And... When he did go behind the veil on the Day of Atonement, he had to make atonement not only for himself, but for the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. See, and, and when you really understand this here, this was sacred work that he was doing mm -hmm. for the Father, mm -hmm. for the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Because this, this is what they, this was the priesthood for the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. there, there, there are a lot of things that you don't understand about that. Mm -hmm. People talking about smearing oil on themselves. That's right. Huh? Making an a, a image of a cross yeah. in their forehead. Yeah. That's crazy. When you read in the law, when it said you can't even make this oil, it That's tells right. you don't even make the oil. That's right. Don't even put the stuff together to make it. That's right. Because you can't make it. You're not the Levitical priest. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. You steady doing things that the fathers say don't do. That's right. They selling it. I said something. Yeah, no, but they selling olive oil. Olive oil. <laughs> Holy water. Yeah, they blessing water, the tap water. That's right. And putting it on people. That's right. I mean, that's 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 out of order. Mm -hmm. Let's go to chapter twenty nine. Okay. Verse one. Mm -hmm. Now this is what you shall do to them to consecrate them, to minister as priests to me. Mm -hmm. Notice what. Oh. Yah is telling Moshe to do for Aharon and his son. Mm -hmm. Notice what it said, to consecrate them mm -hmm. to minister as priests to me. Mm -hmm. Take one young bull 
and two rams without blemish, mm -hmm. and unleavened bread and unleavened cakes mixed with oil, and unleavened wafers spread with oil. You shall make them of fine wheat flour, and you shall put them in one basket and present them in a basket along with the bull and the two rams. Mm -hmm. Then you shall bring Aharon and his sons to the doorway of the tent of the meeting and wash them with water. Mm -hmm. This is the setting up of the Levitical priesthood. This is, these are the head, these, mm -hmm. these people here. Now, now, that's important, Elder. You said, what did you just read, that Elder? 29. Now, that's, yeah, the part that you just read. Script, uh, the verse you just read. Four. Mm -hmm. It says, then you shall bring Aharon and his sons mm -hmm. to the door of the tent of the meeting and wash them with water. Now, what would be, what would this be? In the New Testament, what event was this in the New Testament in order that it might fulfill Scripture? In what way? You talking about the, 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 the tongues falling on them? Mm -mm. It's my water baptism. Best. Oh, okay. Yahshua. Yahshua. Oh, okay. In what? Approaching, Approaching Yochanan, John, John the Baptist. Mm-hmm. Because what, what did it say here yeah. in the very first verse? Yeah. It said, and this is a thing that thou shalt do, do. unto them to hallow them, them to minister unto to me, me in the priest's office. That's Anytime right. water baptism was done, it mm -hmm. was done to initiate one into what? Into mm -hmm. office. Right. Yeshua, what? Before he got ready to do his what? His ministry, yep. he had to go to John the Baptist in order to be what? Baptized in order to what? To fulfill this scripture right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He fulfilled the scripture. And this is what Yahshua did everything to the letter. I have to fulfill scripture. I have to be baptized. I have to go to John to be baptized. So therefore, if you understand that before Yeshua went to Yochanan or John the Baptist, he was not ministering. No, he was. But right. the moment he what? He became baptized. Read it. The moment he became baptized by John, that's when he started his ministry. ministry. Right. At 30 so years old. So that fulfilled this. That's right. Baptism basically is a symbol, is a, is a symbol, is a something that symbolizes one what? Leaving a life of what? Sin and coming to a life of what? Or being free from sin. Right. But we know that you, yeah, that didn't fit Yeshua because Yeshua was what? Without sin. But it fits us. That's why we do it for what? For symbolism's sake. But Yeshua didn't do it for symbolism's sake. He did it because he was being initiated into an office. Right. And that's all I wanted to bring out. That's right. Important. And that, that was good. Matter of fact, I want to go back up to verse 41. 41 and... Uh, Chapter 28. 28. Okay. It says, And you shall put on them, mm -hmm. on Aharon your brother, mm -hmm. and on his sons with him, mm -hmm. and you shall anoint them, uh -huh. and ordain mm -hmm. them, mm -hmm. and consecrate them, mm -hmm. that they may serve me as priests. Mm -hmm. Then we skip down to 43. And mm -hmm. then it says, And they shall be on Aharon mm -hmm. and on his sons mm -hmm. when they enter the tent of the meeting. Mm -hmm. He's talking about the britches and, and coverings and stuff like that. Okay. To enter the tent of the meeting mm -hmm. or when they approach the altar to minister in the holy place. Mm -hmm. They're in the holy place. Mm -hmm. that they and there's not. a most holy place. Okay. That the high priest could only enter. And it bear not what, though? Hey. And it bear not iniquity. That's right. And they can't have no sin. No, they can't. And die. That's right. That's what it said. Yep. Holy place, so yep. that they do not incur guilt yep. and die. Ah, sure. It shall be a statute forever okay. to him and to his descendants after him. Mm -hmm. okay. Unless you can prove that you're one of the sons of Aharon, 
That's the only way you can do this. Now, true, we are a whole nation of priests. Okay. We are that. There's no doubt because the Father said Absolutely. that. Absolutely. He granted that to us back in the seventh chapter mm -hmm. of Exodus. Mm -hmm. If we want to go back, mm -hmm. if you want to go back and read that, the right book. I stretch out my hand. I'm uh -huh, wrong. Is it Exodus or is it that maybe or it might be Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 7. Mm -hmm. So we can read that right quick because they they need to know this. That mm -hmm. They are not the Levitical priesthood. Yeah. And there's a difference between the Levitical priesthood and being a priest. Uh, that, that, that's, <clears throat> that's exactly right. Yep, sure is. That's a big difference. Yep. Listen, it says, when Yahweh your El shall bring you into the land where you enter to possess it and, it, and shall clear away many nations before you, the Hittite together say, and the seven nations greater and stronger than you. Mm -hmm. And when Yahweh your El shall deliver them, and you shall defeat them, then you shall utterly destroy them. You shall make no covenant with them and show them no favoritism. Mm -hmm. Then it says down at 12, then it shall come about because you listen to these judgments, that's if you break this law that he's talking about, if you come into the land because you're his priest, mm -hmm. you're to procure your people to him. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what this is about. We're here in this land <coughs> and we're breaking, we're steady breaking the law that the Father gave us not to break. Mm -hmm. We're steady doing that. Then it says, then it shall come to come about. But I don't no, this is not it. This is not what I want. I was in the right book in the first place. Let me go back. Because the Father made us. See, I don't even want this is this is my other book and I ain't got nothing marked. can't find it right now. It'll come to me. Let me go back to this first. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me go back to this. It says, Then you shall bring Aharon and his sons to the door of the tent of mm -hmm. the meeting and wash them with the water. Mm -hmm. And you shall make, and you shall take the garments and put on Aharon the tunic and the robe of the ephod. Mm -hmm. The ephod, the breastplate, and and the skillfully woven bands of the ephod, mm -hmm. and you shall set the tunics on his head mm -hmm. and put the holy crown on the turban. Then you shall take the anointing oil mm -hmm. and pour it on his head and anoint him, mm -hmm. and you shall bring his sons and put tunics on them, and you shall gird them with, with, with sashes. Have you seen them priests with the sash, with the with the uh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, with the ribbons? This is what they they're imitating. Mm -hmm. But by them imitating this, mm -hmm. they are not the Levitical priesthood. That's right. When you go to ten, let's go to ten because now it talks about the sacrifices. Then you shall bring the bull before the tent of the meeting, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the heads of the bulls, mm -hmm. and you shall slaughter the bull before Yahweh at mm -hmm. the doorway of the tent of the meeting. Mm -hmm. And you shall take some of the blood of the bull and put it on the horns of the altar with your fine, with your finger, mm -hmm. and you shall pour out all the blood at the basin of the altar. Now, 
blood is the thing that seals the bargain with the Father. That's right. Yeah. All the covenants were sealed with blood. The Abrahamic covenant, the mm -hmm. token that was given, that was sealed in blood. The covenant that we read about in the beginning that the mm -hmm. Father made with the children of Israel. The blood was sprinkled on the book right. and on the children of Israel. All this was done to seal. The sealing of blood when he brought them out of the land of Egypt. When he told them to put the blood of the lamb on the doorposts uh, and the lentils so that the deaf angel would pass over them. Mm -hmm. The same thing, the blood that we come up under now, Yahshua's blood, mm -hmm. huh? That mm -hmm. protect the protection that that gives us from sin. Mm -hmm. All of that is still blood. All this is still the same. That's right. It's still the same. But this Levitical priesthood is a thing that people are trying to do that they're not ordained to do. That's right. Again, if you cannot prove that you are the sons of Aharon, you cannot do this. You can't take no tithes. That's right. You can't. Because it was only for them. That's right. Because they didn't have a portion in the land. That's right. Mm -hmm. The father set this up. This was how they got fed. They didn't work no land. They did the service for the father. That's right. Mm -hmm. Again, it says, you shall take the ram and Aharon and his son shall lay their hands on the heads of the ram. Mm -hmm. Notice, they're doing the sacrifices. Mm -hmm. They had taken, twice a day, this sacrifice, these sacrifices were to be done. Mm -hmm. So now, you all sacrificing? Huh? Now tell me now, if, if you are, then uh, we got a problem. Yeah, we got a problem. We got even a bigger problem. But I think they'll tell you that they're not sacrificing. But they are. If they're taking tithes, they might as well be. Mm -hmm. True. But who they sacrificing unto? They the priests of Baal. <laughs> in, in most respects, because of the names in which they use, has nothing to do with the, the priesthood of Yahweh. If that was removed, if that was removed, and you are reinstituting it, I mean, what are you doing? See, for the most part, <laughs> a lot of brothers and sisters don't understand that uh, the, 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 in harm, the, the harm in which they put themselves in mm -hmm. by, by claiming to be something that was not, 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 not alone just removed, but claiming to be of a certain lineage. You had to have a certain yeah. blood flowing in your veins to, to participate in the office of the Levitical priest. Mm -hmm. Turn the numbers. Numbers. Yeah. Turn the numbers. Mm -hmm. the, the third chapter. Okay. Number three. It's going to read a little bit like what we just read in Exodus. Mm -hmm. But turn the numbers the third chapter. And the first verse. Say, these also are the generations of Aharon and Moshe in the day that Yahweh, excuse me, Yahweh spoke with Moshe in Mount Sinai. And these are the names of the sons of Aharon. Nadab, the firstborn, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aharon, the priests who were anointed whom he consecrated to minister in the priest's office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Nadab and Abihu died before Yahweh yeah. when they offered strange fire before Yahweh in the wilderness of Sinai. Mm -hmm. And they had no children. And Eleazar and Ithamar ministered in the priest's office in the sight of Aharon, their father. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh spoke unto Moshe, saying, now listen good, Bring the tribe of Levi near and present them before Aharon, the priest, that they may minister unto him. Mm -hmm. And 
and they shall keep his charge and the charge of the whole congregation before the tabernacle of the congregation to do the service of the tabernacle. <laughs> and because you name your church first tabernacle <laughs> or whatever his real tabernacle, tabernacle <laughs> don't make this the same His tabernacle. tabernacle. That's right. Eight, and they shall keep all the instruments of the tabernacle of the congregation and the charge of the children of Israel to do the service of the tabernacle. And thou shalt give the Levites unto Aharon to his sons. They are wholly given unto him out of the children of Israel. So these were a, a special people set aside, a consecrated separated for the sole purpose of doing a duty in the temple oh, and tabernacle for that's Yahweh. It. That's it. And, that's thou, and thou shalt appoint Aharon and his sons, and they shall wait on their priest's office. Now listen to this, y'all. And the stranger that cometh near shall be put to death. That's right. That's right. All you Levitical priests out there. <laughs> Because you got to understand what was set aside for the Levitical priests. You and the stranger that comes near should be put to death. You got to understand that's sacred. And it had its, it has its, it has its place. So if that was like put to the side or done away with, how can you reinstitute it? And, 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 and like I said before, see, by a lot of us not understanding in certain churches and organizations that that priesthood was done away with and by the different name that you call upon you are actually a priest unto Baal who you call Baal Lord Lord right master because that's a device of Satan mm -hmm. okay you must understand that if you call on the name of a false god or a god that you think that is actually in effect or the god that you uh, choose to embrace, but it's not the name of the father or his son, but actually the name of Baal in disguise, you are a priest of Baal. Simple as that. You are a priest of a false god mm -hmm. under a false belief system. But at the same time, you perpetrate this belief system and you teach other people the same lie instead of actually sitting down and, and listening when uh, Elder Haron is pointing out the sacredness in the Levitical priesthood and that if you are not a part of that lineage, leave that alone. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, for your own, for your own sake, for your own rights, for your own salvation, because it has nothing to do with you. If, like he said, if you can't prove to be a Levitical priest, you should not mess with anything pertaining to that office. No, you can't. Let me read something else. Um, to go to the 25th verse. Of numbers. I mean, wait a minute. Chapter 3, 25, the 25th verse. Mm -hmm. And the charge of the sons of Gershon is the tabernacle of the congregation shall be the tabernacle and the tent, the covering thereof, and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Mm -hmm. And the hangings of the court and the curtain for the door of the court, which is by the tabernacle and by the altar round about, and the cords of it for all the service thereof. Mm -hmm. It got that specific, whereas you had certain individuals that had certain duties. That's correct. This thing is broken down mm -hmm. into specifics. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you see a way to, to actually uh, shice the people out of their money. <laughs> you Really, you must understand that a lot of ministers are shystering people out of their money by uh, quoting scripture, can a man rob God? 
Yeah. <laughs> through tithes and offering. And actually, what he you don't understand. Robbing, yeah. Right. What you, right, that's what he's doing. And he's, you actually, you're actually paying for this man's car note and paying this man's mortgage payment thinking he has something to do with this Levitical priesthood. You don't owe this man a dime. Mm -hmm. That's the thing you must understand. You don't. Mm -hmm. So, take it upon yourself, read the scripture. If Yahshua, when he was crucified and the curtain was torn, that means you had access to the Father through Yahshua. Yes. You no longer have to go to a priest so the priest can take your vow to the most high. That's it. You ain't got to go Elder, in the can box. You, can you, uh... Right. That's uh, another one. <laughs> can you read from, uh, you in Numbers, it, uh, go to the 18th chapter of Numbers. I think the 18th chapter of Numbers gives us a, <clears throat> gives us a lot of information okay. concerning how, how they, how the Levitical priesthood came into play and what they did and what they had and what their responsibilities were. Chapter 18? Yes. Okay. Beginning with verse 1. one. Mm -hmm. It says, So Yahuwah said to Aharon, You and your sons and your father's household with you shall bear the guilt in connection with the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And you and your sons with you shall bear the guilt in connection with your priesthood. Your priesthood. Mm -hmm. But bring with you also your brothers, the mm -hmm. tribe of Levi, mm -hmm. or Levi, the tribe of your father, that they may be joined with you and serve you while you and your sons with you are before the tent of the testimony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they shall thus attend to your obligation and the obligation of all the tent. Mm -hmm. But they shall not come near to the furnishings of the sanctuary. That's right. That means they couldn't come inside right. the most holy place. Or right. the holy, they couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. And the altar, lest both they and you die. That's right. Mm -hmm. And they shall be joined with you and attend to your obligation of the tent of the meeting for all the services of the tent. Mm -hmm. But an outsider may not come near you. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you shall attend to the obligations of the sanctuary and the obligations of the altar, that there may no longer be wrath on the sons of Yisrael. Mm -hmm. Notice what I said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. This was for the sons of Israel mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. Now, Elder, is this saying that the lineage, the lineage of Aharon were to be the high priest? Yes. And the rest of the sons of Levi, Levi are right. to be priests. That's it. But not high priests. Mm -hmm. That's right. And only the priests to the sons and daughters of, of, of the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. They were to perform the service for them okay. and them alone. Mm -hmm. Because notice he didn't say nobody else. Exactly. exactly. He only said the children of Israel. That's right. And behold, mm -hmm. I myself have taken your fellow Levites, from among the sons mm -hmm. of Israel, mm -hmm. they are a gift to you, dedicate, dedicated to Yahweh to perform the service for the tent of the meeting. But you and your sons with you shall attend to your priesthood for everything concerning the altar and inside the veil and you are to perform service. I am giving you the priesthood as a bestowed service, mm -hmm. but the outsider who comes near shall be put, put to, to death. death. Mm -hmm. Reverend. Stranger. Listen to this. Here we go. It says, Then Yahweh spoke. 
to Aharon. Mm -hmm. Now behold, I myself have given you charge of my offerings, mm -hmm. of my offerings. Even all the holy gifts of the sons of Israel, I have given them to you as a portion and to your sons as a perpetual allotment. Mm -hmm. This shall be yours from the most holy gift reserved from the fire. Every offering of theirs even every grain offering, every sin offering, every guilt offering, which they shall render to me, shall be most holy mm -hmm. for you and for your sons. Sounds like a bunch of rituals to me. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Deeds Works. of the law. Works of yes. the law. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Also, the most holy gifts, mm -hmm. you shall eat it. Eat it. Mm -hmm. You can't eat money. Mm -hmm. Every maid, every male shall eat it. Mm -hmm. It shall be holy to you. Mm -hmm. This also is yours, the offering of their gifts, even all their wave offerings of the sons of Israel. I have given them to you and to your sons and daughters with you as a perpetual allotment. Mm -hmm. Every one of your household who is clean may eat it. All the best of the fresh oil and all the best of the fresh wine and of the grain, the first fruits of those which they give to, to Yahweh, I give them to you. Mm -hmm. The first ripe fruit of all that is in their land, which they bring to Yahweh, shall be yours. Every one of your household who is clean may mm -hmm. eat it. Mm -hmm. Every devoted thing is Israel's, mm -hmm. shall be yours. Mm -hmm. Every first issue of the womb of all flesh, whether male or animal, mm -hmm. which they offer to Yahweh, shall be yours. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the firstborn of man you shall surely redeem, and the firstborn of unclean animals you shall redeem. Mm -hmm. And as to their redemption price, from a month old you shall redeem them by your valuation five shekels in silver, according to the shekels of the sanctuary, which is 20 gira. Mm -hmm. But the firstborn of an oxen, or the firstborn of a sheep, or the firstborn of a goat, you shall not redeem. They are holy. Mm -hmm. You shall sprinkle their blood on the altar and shall offer up their fat yeah. in smoke mm -hmm. as an offering by fire for a soothing aroma to Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Now notice, they could only do this. Mm -hmm. Sounds like rituals to me. Right. Sounds like works of the law to me. That's right. Mm -hmm. The deeds of the law. Mm -hmm. huh? That you are not justified by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And their meat shall be yours. Mm -hmm. It shall be yours mm -hmm. like the breast of a wave offering and like the right thigh. All the offerings of the holy gifts, which the sons of Israel offer to Yahweh, mm -hmm. I have given to you and your sons and your daughters with you mm -hmm. as a perpetual allotment. Verse 20 begins very key information. Yes. Here. What is it now? It is an everlasting covenant of salt before Yahweh to you and your mm -hmm. descendants with you. Then Yahweh said to Aharon, oh, you shall that? have no inheritance uh -huh. in their land, uh -huh. nor own any portion uh -huh. among them. Because I am your portion and your inheritance among the sons of Israel. That's why Yah says that how can a man rob Yah? Yah. Because he says, I am your, your 
portion. portion. I am your inheritance. That's and right. And since the tithes were only given to them, yep. if you don't give it to them, now you are robbing mm -hmm. Yah. Yeah. Okay, That's go ahead. it. Go ahead. And to the sons of Levi, behold, I have given all the tithes. Uh -huh. The sons of Levi. What were you talking about? That's that? right. What, what did he say? I have given all the tithes uh -huh. in Israel for an inheritance uh -huh. in return for their service, uh -huh. which they perform yes. the service of the tent of the that, meeting. That was their portion for doing the service. That's how y'all paid them. That's right, because they didn't have a portion and, in and the land. That's why it is... It, it is the rest of the children of Israel, you're about to read it here. Yeah. It is the rest of the children of Israel's responsibility to get those tithes in. Yeah, that's because right. Because if you don't do that, you're not, paying, you're, not, you're not feeding them. That's right. You're robbing me and you're not I'm feeding, feeding them. them. I'm going to get you. That's right. And the sons of Israel shall not come near the tent of the meeting again, lest they bear sin and die. Mm. Only the Levites shall perform the service of the tent of the meeting, and they shall bear their iniquities. It shall be a perpetual statue throughout your generation. And among the sons of Israel, they shall have no inheritance. For the tithes of the sons of Israel, which they offer as an offering to Yahweh, I have given to the Levites for an inheritance. Ooh. Therefore, I have said concerning them, they shall have no inheritance mm. among the sons of Israel. Mm -hmm. Then Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Moreover, you shall speak to the Levites and say to them, When you take from the sons of Israel the tithes which I have given you from them for your inheritance, then you shall present an offering from it to Yahweh, a tithe, a tithe. A tithe, a, a tent. Part no, they got a tithe of the tithe. Okay, we'll because that's because what it meant, a part, right, a part of the tithe. Here it says even a tenth of right. a part of the tithe. Okay. And you shall offer, and your offering shall be reckoned to you as the grain from the threshing floor or the full produce mm -hmm. from the wine vat. Mm -hmm. So you shall also present an offering to Yahweh from your tithes, mm -hmm. which you receive from the sons of Israel, and from it you shall give Yahweh's offering to Aharon the priest. Out of all your gifts, you shall present every offering due to Yahweh mm -hmm. from all the best of them, mm -hmm. the sacred parts from them. Mm -hmm. And you shall say to them, when you have offered from it the best of it, then the rest shall be reckoned to the Levites as produce of the threshing floor and as the product of the wine vat. And you may eat it anywhere you and your household, for it is your compensation in return for your service in the tent of the meeting. The temple is gone. And you shall bear no sin by reason of it when you have offered the best of it. But you shall not profane the sacred gifts of the sons of Israel, lest you die. Listen, Elder, you said the temple is gone? Yes, it is. Okay, so where is the temple now? Hey, we are that physical temple. Mm -hmm. We're Every, that temple. Everybody's body, body is the, the temple. temple. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, I don't think the... Ministers that we have out here are the high priests, and, they, and that they should have to what attend uh, the temple, attend the tent of the meeting, or attend to our bodies. That's right. Huh? Not in that, that fashion. Make, that don't make sense. No, it don't. Uh huh. No. Nope. So there's only one priest now. That's it. There's only one. And he has a direct connection with each, with each and every, every one, one of, of our us. bodies. That's it. Because he is that sacrifice. That's right. Is that not right? That's, That's right. it. Here's another thing in 19. It talks about the red heifer. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. now you have to ask, 
because there are things like now when you come near a dead body, you know, you have to be washed with the clean water. And this is what the clean water is made from, the red heifer. But we know that there are certain people that have called themselves growing a red heifer. Mm -hmm. And yeah. this is for this purpose, to make yeah. clean water. Yeah. They uh, have tried to do that and probably still trying now. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. Well, let's read a little bit of this. It says, Then Yahuwah spoke to Moshe in our own saying, this is the statue of the law which Yahweh has commanded, saying, Speak to the sons of Israel mm -hmm. that they bring you an unblemished red heifer mm -hmm. in which is no defect mm -hmm. and on which a yoke has never been placed. Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever seen a red heifer? Negative. No. Low. Negative. No. Uh, unblemished. Low. Negative. No. 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 I haven't seen one either. Mm -mm. I think that what you said, Elder, you know, echoing on what you said um, is very important. And I, and I think that what, what we're doing now is beautiful because we're trying to set up the grounds by which we're trying to show you, the viewing audience, show you what, give you examples, read the scripture, read the chapters, read the verses, to show you the examples of what is deemed as the deeds or the works of the law. By you seeing all of these things that the priests did, the high priest did, we want you to understand and see how these things are the things that Brother Shaul is talking about. When we start talking about what has been blotted out, we start talking about what we don't have to do anymore, it is the works of the law, and these are actual examples of works of the law and deeds that are within the law that we don't have to do anymore. Functions of the priesthood. Right. Because Yeshua took care of all of that. But again, and now it's simple. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. But again, we're going to go back to Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, because that's what it is, what we talked about the, when the Father chose us mm -hmm. to be a priest. I want to read this. It's verse 6. Mm -hmm. It says, You are a holy people mm -hmm. to Yahweh your El. Yahweh your El has chosen.